behind me is another one of my projects here. This car belongs to a local girl, and uh, she bought it several years ago, like three or four years ago. And uh, shortly after she got it, within like a month or two, the spark plug shot out of the head. And uh, I have the head at home, I'll show you that in another video, but um, somebody had welded the... Hello! Somebody had welded the head together uh, where the spark plug goes into it and made a melted mess out of it. So we got another set of heads, we put it on this engine, and uh, we got it running. On the test stand it ran very good, I uh, fixed some of the stupid problems that the previous owner did to it, like up the jetting in the carburetor, and got that going well, and uh, shortly today we're going to have this thing running, aren't we? Yes! Yay! Alright, here we go. Alright, we just finished hooking up all the electrical, we got the fuel line hooked back up, which is really all we needed to do, and uh, I primed it with a little bit of fuel, so hopefully that gets enough in the system once it fires, and uh, we're ready to start. Are you ready? Go ahead, fire it up. Why'd you stop? There it is. It's alive and it's dead. <laughs> it might take a little bit to get the fuel through the system. I'll prime it up a little bit again. Go ahead and leave it off for a moment. Put a little bit of gas in there. Did it? Good. All right, go ahead. Oh, boy. Don't give it so much throttle. Go ahead. And again. Start. Start him up. Start him. You didn't start it. needed me to do it. <laughs> That's running with the shitty gas in it. Actually, it runs pretty damn good. And when did you ever see it do this before? It yeah, never. <laughs> Not even when we had it on the stand, so upping that jet size was it. And luckily I had the right size drill to do it, otherwise it would have been a few more weeks of wait time to get jets for it. But there it is, runs! Yay! Well, we warmed it on up and it seems to be running quite well. So uh, I put the air cleaner and stuff back on it. I did a little bit of rerouting with the electrical wires and stuff because some of them were touching the uh, throttle cable and that's kind of bad news because it's going to wear right through it. So I got that reset. Everything looks good. None of the wires are touching any hot spots anymore. So it's running. I think that's going to be good. We're gonna go take it for a ride. Yeah, right, here she goes. It's the first time she's driven this thing in over three years. It's been dead with the motor parked for three years. Now she's got brake lights, that's good.
on the left and back. Yeah. Can't find reverse. Volkswagen amateur stuff. <laughs> there it goes. You gonna close the door? Alright, here we go. Battery. Whee! This is fun! I held the seat adjuster. There we go. And now I actually have headroom. <laughs> How's it feel? It feels awesome. Does it have more power than before? Yes. <laughs> Already at like 20 miles an hour it has more power. Yeah, it was apparently running on three cylinders with a way undersized jet and undersized carburetor for that matter. But if you jet the carburetor right, despite being undersized, it'll run good. But this one wasn't. Don't crash. <laughs> Awesome. Other than the goofy seats, it's got a nice interior. At least they're comfortable. Yeah. Even if they're wrong. <laughs> Especially with the oversized seats, otherwise it wouldn't be like that. Yeah. I don't even think I can adjust my parking on this side. <laughs> I need a wide angle lens in here because it's so confined. <laughs> I have to back. Whoa! <laughs> Gotta back the camera way up to be able to see it. <laughs> well, surely is quiet too. That exhaust that I put on there is really, really quiet. We put a muffler on here from a probably a Honda Civic. It's a kind of a generic exhaust that happened to have the right diameter for what we were using. Oh. Downshift. There it is. I knew you could do it. It's a little more sensitive than the Jeep is. Really? Yeah. Of course the Jeep. Yeah. Its gears are probably going. The uh, Jeep automatic? No. No, I thought it was. I don't drive automatic. <laughs> Sound like me. I drive an automatic shit. I don't want that crap. I only had one automatic car in my life and it was only for two days. <laughs> Subaru is automatic. I fucking hated it. Mind if I? Yeah. Make sure everything feels right. It doesn't seem like it's running lean. That's right, you don't have any <laughs> Get out and grab the car. 